Hey all, uh, this is on Windows 8, and uh, I was looking around for uh, how to customize the background of the start screen. What I mean by that, you know, if you use uh, Windows 8, you know, it's the start screen, modern UI start screen. And I, I am aware of uh, Decorate by Stardock. Uh, however, I stumbled across a, a DeviantArt site um, where a person has uh, made something similar. So open a browser here. And I'll put this link in the description, of course. So it's up here. And this is the main interface that you see. And it's easy enough. Uh, the file download is only 1.1 megabytes, and it's a zip file. So we'll close this out. And uh, I'll do a search. Uh, what was it? Start. Settings. Files. There it is. And you have two files. So we'll just uh, select all, whatever, and drag them onto the desktop for now. And close this down. You notice uh, that it says readme.md and modern UI start screen.ex underscore. So you're going to have to rename these. But first, I strongly suggest putting them into a folder. So modern UI because it puts a settings configuration on your desktop. So I'll just move them into here. And now we're going to rename this this first file. So press F2 on your keyboard and make it EXE. Yes, I want to change that. And you see the icon now appears. And read me uh, .txt. Yes, I want to change that. And README is just uh, help you to, uh, this tool will help you to customize your start, Windows 8 start screen background picture. And there's just uh, fixes. Basically, uh, and it, all you do is, as usual, unpack, rename, and run exe, or, and run, rename to exe and run. So that's what we've done here. So I'll just double click this. And here's the interface again. And you have uh, a few options actually. Uh, you can, when you click here, it, this will take you to the uh, Windows Immersive Control Panel. So you can change the color scheme if you wish. You can uh, change the number of rows. And uh, as you can see here, there's opacity for the tiles and the start screen. So, and there's more options. So let's load a picture. I'll pick the first one, and then uh, select open. You see here, there's a box. You can resize. You can make it the full screen, or you can move it around. Say something like that. And sometimes this doesn't work uh, when I'm screencast, trying to screencast this, but we'll see. So you click apply and save, and it should open the start screen with this in the background. Another option, um, if I can get this running, I'll show you in the screencast, is to select a bunch of pictures. So select pictures, the screen darkens, that's normal, and it opens my documents, right, and by default, so go to my pictures, for example, and I want to choose a folder where I have uh, Windows 8 wallpapers, and you can just hold down the control key and pick whatever you wish randomly. There it goes. Now I have a background slideshow, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Uh, five, every five seconds the the background changes, which is kind of neat. Or you can have just a static, just one background, uh, if you wish. And uh, let's try the start screen of pace. So you'll turn it down a little bit. And it should be uh, like a see-through kind of background. Yeah. And in the background, you can see the desktop in the background, actually. You can do the same with tiles, but it's it's a little, uh, it looks strange. Um, it's not very uh, nice looking. But that's up to you. You can choose what you want. Um, so you can hit hide and hit the hide button here. And run at startup. You tick that box. Or you can exit. So I'll just do the hide 
um, because I want to show you that right here it's, it's created the config.inna. Double click that to open. Shows you the first wallpaper. And then it shows you the wallpapers that have been selected. Okay, other than that, uh, you can take this, right click and say pin to start or pin to your taskbar at the bottom. And uh, you can have that load up uh, anytime you need it. Okay, uh, I think that's about all. Um, if there's any anyway, if you have any questions, just feel free to add them, ask in at comments or whatever. And uh, I think that's it for this one.